Okay, so Samsung recently announced the new Galaxy F41, the first smartphone in the new Galaxy F series. And well, this is it right here. Now, I know we're a bit late covering this because we got the phone late and we were doing a lot of other videos, but hey, better late than never. So when Samsung announced the Galaxy F41, I had two questions in my mind. First up, what's new with the Galaxy F41? And second, what's this new F series all about? How is it different than the M series or the A series? Well, I'm gonna answer both of these questions. So let's start with the first one. So this here is the new Galaxy F41 and design wise, it has a very typical Samsung design. This here is a polycarbonate back and it's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but other than that, it looks fine. Everything else is fairly standard too. You get the USB-C port, a dedicated micro SD plus dual SIM slot and a headphone jack to round things off. There's also the fingerprint scanner on the back here, which is decently fast. And you also get face unlock, which is also decently fast. So no problems there. Now you can't ignore the display, especially on a Samsung phone. The Galaxy F41 comes with a 6.4 inch Full HD plus super AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 3. And this is a display that's nice with vibrant colors and it seems good all around like most Samsung displays. Plus the phone has no issues with HD streaming on apps like Netflix. So I was watching a few shows on this phone and they do look crisp on this display. Now, one thing that you must have noticed is the teardrop notch up top. And I honestly would have liked the Infinity O style display, but hey, there's AMLET, so I'm not gonna get into this much. On the back, the Galaxy F41 comes with a triple camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. So, no 2 megapixel lens is something I always appreciate. Anyway, the 64 megapixel sensor has been good in the few photos that I've taken. I mean, the 64 megapixel sensor on phones like the M31s, M51, they've all been good and is the same on the F41 so far. As you can see, the photos in good light are sharp and detailed and I like the overall colors too. In low light, things are kind of decentish, but mostly things are well exposed. As for the ultra wide angle sensor, it has a 123 degree field of view like most Samsung phones and the quality is good too, especially the colors. Now, frankly, it's too early to judge the camera performance here, but so far the cameras here seem very solid for the price. Plus they have all the features you expect from Samsung phones like single take, night hyperlapse and more. So yeah, you're pretty much covered on that front. As for the videos, I like that there's 4K support for both the rear cameras and the front camera, which by the way is a 32 megapixel sensor. Now coming to the specs, I think you probably already know that the Galaxy F41 packs in the Exynos 9611 chipset with up to 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage. Now this is the same Exynos 9611 that was in the M31, the M31s and a lot of other Samsung phones. And yeah, I'll be honest with you, a newer chipset would have been nice, but if I go by my past experience, the F41 should be fine with day-to-day -day tasks and casual gaming as well. Now on the software front, you get One UI 2.1 here based on Android 10 with all the One UI features we know of. And yeah, there are some pre-installed apps like PhonePay, Daily Hunt, Snapchat, and also these Microsoft apps that are pre-installed, but they can be uninstalled, so it's not really an issue. Anyway, the battery capacity of the F41 is up there. It's a 6,000 mAh battery, and that means this is a phone that should last pretty long. I mean, I've used the Galaxy M31 and the M31s in the past, and both of those phones have 6,000 mAh batteries, and obviously the battery performance on those phones is exceptional, especially with the AMOLED displays. So yeah, I'm expecting the same from the F41. When it comes to charging, the phone comes with a 15 watt fast charger, and yeah, a 25 watt fast charger would have been nicer. Now coming to the second question, what's this new F-Series all about? So basically Samsung's new F-Series is in partnership with Flipkart. So the Galaxy F41 is only available on Flipkart, but what's really interesting about this partnership are some really cool offers. Okay, so first up, it's going on sale on October 16th at Rs. 16 But like I said, the Flipkart partnership means some really interesting offers. See, during the big billion day sale, it will be available at Rs. 15,499, which is a nice discount of almost 1500 rupees, but there's more. The Galaxy F41 is applicable with Flipkart's smart upgrade plan in which you just have to pay 70% of the full price upfront and you get to keep the device for a year at that price. Now, if you want to keep the device after a year, you can pay the remaining 30% amount or, you know, return the device. Now, that's a nice offer. Plus, there's 10% cash back on SBI cards. So with the big billion days deal, the Flipkart smart upgrade offer where you only have to pay 70% price and the 10% SBI card discount, you can effectively get the Galaxy F41 for Rs. 9,774. I mean, that's a great deal because the F41 seems like a solid offering at this price. You get the FHD Plus Super AMOLED, 64 megapixel triple cameras, a massive battery and the good One UI experience. But yeah, the chipset is still the same Exynos 9611. Anyway, what do you guys think of the new Galaxy F41 and the Flipkart Smart Upgrade plan? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Also, make sure to give this video a like, share it around. 
and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.